Hello everyone, um, this is your girl, Sugary Girl Candy 2012, and uh, forgive the way I sound right now, but I've been sick for the past week, but you know, um, I couldn't resist, you know, a couple of few articles that I ran into that I found interesting, so you know, I needed to do my thoughts on it, so again, forgive me on my voice and the way it sounds, because I'm still recovering from being sick, so here we go. Okay, so as you read, read the title, you know what this is pretty much already about. This guy named Don Matrick, who's leaving Microsoft to be um, a possible CEO at Zynga, if I pronounce that right. Well, let me just tell you that this is like, this is one of the main guys that's been given the Xbox, like, the bad, bad press. Um, one of being um, the most concerning co comments that he made is when he was asked, you know, what about all the people you know that live in places that don't have internet or have slow internet or you know their internet may go out you know from time to time or etc 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 and his answer simply to that was you know we got a product for that if people can't get on the internet and you know they have internet connection problems or blah 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 then they can simply get an xbox 360 so you know i i looked at that you know i looked at that comment with a whole bunch of question marks like are you trying to sell the Xbox 360 or are you trying to sell the Xbox One? Because by saying that comment, you really didn't make it look any better than what, you know, you didn't make it look any better than what it already was. Dude, you just made it look worse and you just made people push away. So, you know, then to hear about um, them getting rid of them d the DRM policies was even more funny because of the fact that a lot of people are saying it was because of consumers. Let me get. Let me start say this part first. A lot of people say the reason they changed that was because of consumers, and they started listening. Well, let me just tell you right now, if they were truly listening to consumers, then they would have. They wouldn't get. Wouldn't even have added any of this bullshit early on, even when uh, before the Xbox was even freaking shown, and um, you know, they wouldn't have been, you know, so secretive with everything, and they would have gotten gotten rid of all this shit from the get go, or you know, whatever, and people wouldn't have been so angry and so upset, and, you know, then that would have showed they truly were for the consumers. Okay, so now that they've reversed all these bullshit as, you know, DRM policies and blah, 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 you got your people complaining about it would have been good and blah, 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 and it's the future and blah, blah, blah. Well, there's a lot of people that's not ready for that, so you always got to think about the people, you know, that aren't able to do all of this shit, like half the world and shit, so... Um, that's one thing why, this is why, th one thing I find funny about the situation is how quickly some people turn the moment they got rid of it, and now they're, s they're trying to say the PlayStation 4 sucks and blah, blah, blah. Like, are you serious? Oh, because they all of us, oh, because they all of a sudden took a, a feature that they were going to force down consumers' throat and butt stuff you with. Now, all of a sudden, um, <coughs> Now all of a sudden they're good and they're listening to consumers just because they reverse some DRM policies. No, sweetheart. The reason they, whether you choose to believe it or not, is your fucking problem and you've been living under a fucking rock. But the real reason why they changed those policies is because they seen that nobody fucking wanted their console. A.K.A. the PS4 is kicking their fucking asses in pre-order sales, dude. That's the truth. Cold hard truth. You can either take it and believe it or you can just go have a seat. And go back under the rock you've been living under because that's the whole cold hard truth. You think they really be like, okay, because consumers said this and that. Um, we're going to change it. No, they said, oh my goodness, we're getting our asses kicked by the PS4. Nobody wants the Xbox One. Time to do a 180. And that's what the hell they did. Believe it if you want to or don't believe it. That's your fucking problem. Anyway, on to this article. Um, So it says Don Matrick, the president of a president of Microsoft's interactive entertainment unit with sensors on the Xbox and all the software giants gaming and entertainment efforts is leaving the company, said multiple sources close to the situation. These sources added that the high profile executive is also close to taking a job at Zynga. I have no idea I have no idea what that is, so excuse me if I'm mispronouncing it or anything like that. Um the trouble online social gaming company possibly as a CEO and is working in close partnership with his founder and current CEO, Mark Penfield, if I said that right. You know what I know, seem to notice about some Microsoft employees or people that have worked under Microsoft is when they seem to leave, then they, it's like they've been having something they've been always wanting to say from the get-go when they were under Microsoft. I don't know. 
It says sources said the announcement of Don a massive appointment could be made as soon as today after the markets close. So if he get hired, he become CEO or he leaving. <laughs> after this story was published, Zynga shares have risen close to ten percent. Wow. To three dollars and five cents. That's still down sixteen percent since his late twenty eleven public offering. If it happens, the hire will be a massive one for Zynga, which has been hit by a series of problems since his IPO. Tenacious has been struggling to move the company into mobile quickly as his one strong web and Facebook consumer business has waned. This has included a recent round of layoffs as well as closures of a number of offices outside of his San Francisco HQ. If, in fa if he in fact appoints a new CEO to take over the reins of Zanga and hires a very experienced exec like Massick who has worked on many turnarounds it is a major step by Tenacious. Tenacious who has held his top job there since his founding while it's not unusual for a founder to give up such power it is certainly underscores Tenica's commitment to providing Zynga interestingly Massic has also been on the short list of the top execs being considered to run electronic art EA now uh, wow okay <laughs> um I haven't I haven't owned an EA game since Def Jam Icon that's it that's that's the only EA game I can remember playing all this generation. <laughs> Another gaming giant that has faced a number of challenges and whose former CEO was ousted a few months ago. Well, you people need they need to think about what the hell they're doing wrong and why their company is going in the shitter. And then maybe they wouldn't be doing so freaking bad. But, you know, for EA, I don't really know what's going on over there. Because, so, again, I haven't bought an EA game since Def Jam Icon. <laughs> Which again is a one of the worst Def Jam games to ever be made, but you know it has a good story and all that. But you know, excuse me, the move appears to be largely unrelated to the massive restructuring being needed by CEO Steve Ballmer at Microsoft. Talks between Massacre and Zynga have been going on for some time, said sources. Okay, well I'm gonna leave it at that, and I'm gonna um, leave an article in the description somewhere or whatever, and you guys can read the rest for yourself. But um. If he were to leave Microsoft, uh, honestly, in my honest opinion, I think it would be a good thing because he hasn't been making the Xbox One look good whatsoever. Um, I mean, this is the guy that, if anything, has been making the Xbox look worse than worse than what it what it already is, dude. Like, he's the one that's been opening up his mouth a lot about this cost and not some good shit, like. People are still set on that, you know, that comment he made about, you know, not being able, you know, where he was asked if you would be able to, uh, what about the people in other places that don't have access to internet or, you know, can only, you know, their only choice is to play online, offline, I mean, sorry. And he was one of the deep, one of just the, the deep, most arrogant D-bag comment, he said, to get a 360. So, you know, I had to scratch my head. Again, I had to scratch my head and be like, okay is he trying to sell the xbox 360 or the one <laughs> you know what i'm saying so i don't know man um just because they all of a sudden switch their policies around is not going to make me say oh my god i want a 360 i want to oh my god <laughs> i want a uh, xbox one now no because i have a feeling they have something planned down the road i don't think they just got rid of it just for this day because they said it's going to be a patch when you get the xbox and you have it in your house there's going to be a patch to get you know to patch all that shit up i guess but you know, I don't know. I just don't. Tr I don't trust the words of these of this company and the people in it because they just they're just so secretive and so shush shush about certain things. And I don't know, man. But um, yeah. Sony gave the gamers what they wanted. Um, and whether you guys see it as a good thing or a bad thing, <laughs> honestly, doesn't matter because again, you know, Microsoft need to watch who the hell they hire. Um, they need to watch who the hell they get to promote this damn console because the people so far that have been doing it haven't been doing a good job at it. So um, I guess that's it. And I'll speak to you guys later. Um, you can leave your comments down below and tell me your thoughts on this whole, you know, Mic Microsoft getting rid of the DRM policy and, you know, them doing a 180 and people trying to say the fact that um, it's a consumer thing. It was a consumer's um, reason to why... Uh, uh, um, they decided to do a 180 and, you know, go with the whole, you know, you, you can have a physical copy and blah, blah, blah. So, deuces, and I'll talk to y'all later.